Okay, so we're here with Will at Teenage Engineering. Hey, Hello, Will. how's it going? Very good, thanks, man. Thank you for inviting us into the, the luxurious van. Yeah, long time no see. Yeah. <laughs> Back again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what have you brought to Superbooth this year? So we've got a sort of preview of our next three products. Uh, so it's a bit of an iteration on the color of, of some existing products. So we've got the TP7, CM15, and TX6. So the idea here is that we wanted to sort of color match them with the OPXY. So obviously we did the Field Mini in silver, uh, the straight anodized aluminium. But when we released the OPXY, we felt that it needed a bit of harmony in terms of the look of the system. So if you wanted to have an XY and the Field Mini, you could have them together. Uh, and that's what we've got here. So these are sort of prototype versions. The colors aren't quite there, but we wanted to show it off at Superbooth and get people excited. Um, so they'll be available from June 10th, uh, but we've got a nice little preview with some prototypes so that people can touch and feel them and, and take a look. They do look very luxurious. Yeah, I'll I think they're that. very spy chic, you know. It's uh, absolutely perfect for espionage. A hundred percent. I think the TP7 especially gives me, um, yeah, I don't know, Cold War vibes. <laughs> In terms of functionality, they're the same as... Yeah, so... Exactly the same hardware, all of the same fantastic preamps, DACs, um, you know, as many people probably already know. Uh, the TX6 is our 12-channel mixer. Uh, it's got analog preamps, uh, up to 42 dB of gain per channel, built-in DSP effects. It works as a 12-channel audio interface as well. Um, so it's a real powerhouse for musicians. It's got all of the I.O. that you might need, USB-C, jacks in and out, AUX, Q, you name it. Uh, the CM15 is, of course, our portable condenser mic. Uh, so I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but we've got the one-inch diaphragm capsule there. It kind of comes through a bit, bit easier on this, uh, this version of the CM15. Uh, but that's a custom capsule designed by us and Peluso. Um, sounds really fantastic, very balanced sound. Um, it's, as I like to think of it, probably the most versatile uh, microphone period because you get the sound response of a condenser mic but with the portability of a dynamic mic uh, and also the dynamic range uh, of a dynamic mic because you can pad it down minus 8 dB so if you a lot of people miss this but on the back we've got this gain selector switch so on the zero setting you can actually pad it a further 8 dB um, so that allows you to record drums and then all the way on two at the highest gain setting uh, to record sensitive vocals. So all with one mic, you can do a full studio recording setup just with one mic. Um, so as far as condenser mics go, I'd say it's probably one of the most versatile. Uh, and then certainly in terms of I.O., you've got uh, USB-C, which will connect your computer, phone, you name it, for quick and easy recording when you just want to get something down. And you've got 3.5 millimeter. Uh, for all your synths, keyboards, anything that takes line level audio. And then XLR, which allows you to send out to your mixing desks and various audio interfaces. Uh, it's got a built-in battery with eight hours of battery life. So you don't have to phantom power it. You can if you wanted to through the XLR and it would take that. Uh, and of course, in terms of DACs, it's got the same fantastic DACs. So across the whole system, we use S Sabre DACs. Um, which are really, really high quality. It's what you find in various other audio interfaces. For example, RME, I believe, use as Sabre DAX. Really nice quality, super crisp sound. Uh, totally uncompromising. Uh, and of course, you get that in the CM15 uh, with the uh, USB-C output. And then the TP7, you've got your three stereo outputs on the top. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and those allow you to record simultaneously, uh, multi-channel, all six mono, three stereo channels uh, at 96 kilohertz, 24 bit. And actually, if you combine the TX6 and the TP7, then you get uh, the uh, 12 channels from TX6 directly into TP7 multi channel. Uh, so that's great. Fantastic. And we've got some software updates coming for the system a little bit later down the line that we're working on polishing up at the moment. Can't talk too much on what that's going to add, uh, but it's very exciting, mm. uh, especially with this guy. This is going to get a real. Uh, really <laughs> quite impressive update uh, in terms of what it can do. Uh, but Excellent. we're working on stuff for the whole system, so we're looking to, to think about the interoperability of, of how stuff comes together. So, hmm. 
Yeah. And, and you already had some updates for um, this little fellow yeah. after it came out, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Looping, sampling. Uh, we also had the disk mode, I think we did post-launch. Um, but there's a lot that it can do that people don't really realize. It's, um, it really is quite a, a versatile little little dude. <laughs> Absolutely, and so, so portable as well. Yeah. Um, you know, mi early small mixing desks, really hard to come by, uh, you know, especially back in the day. This yeah. sort of thing is just, um, yeah, mind-blowing. I mean, we've seen a lot do. of keyboard players that really love it because, you know, keyboards are big, mixers are big. <laughs> the two, you get, you've got a pretty big rig at the end of it. But it's nice to just have a small mixer on top of one of your keyboards, you know, put it on top of your Nord, have everything going in, mix it on top, and, you know, you get that sent out to, to wherever it needs to go. Equally, it's been very popular with music producers, so I've got a few friends who have been using it in the studio um, as an audio interface, because you turn up, plug all your synths in, you don't need to faff about, and you just multi-channel straight into Logic or Ableton. Uh, or Pro Tools. And, uh, you know, it's just compact enough that you always bring it with you to a session. You don't really have to think about it. It's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah, I can bring this, you know. So that's that's been super nice. Right. What sort of battery life does that one have? So it's got eight hours uh, okay. on all three of them. So eight hours on TP7, eight hours on CM15, and eight on TX6. And that's continuous. Mm. Um, so typically you'll find that, you know, over the course of, say, a month, if you're using it on and off, on and off, It'll last you ages. Um, so yeah, pretty amazing battery life as well. Do you want to see the TP7 moving? Let's have a oh look nice. at the TP7, yeah, wow. sure. The glory shot. <laughs> when was the original one released? It's a good question. You're testing my knowledge now. I think it was about two years ago. Feels like around two years ago. Yeah. Uh, I've seen them used in, in many, uh, many a video, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. And I think for sampling, they're really good fun. For recording, they're really good fun. What I like to think of it is that it's, you know, as a musician, you do three things. You come up with an idea, you record the idea, and then you show off the idea, you know, once you've turned it into a song, of course. And that's what TP7 does. So it's got a built-in voice memo recording function. So if you hold this button on the side, labeled M, that will start a voice memo even with it powered off. So it's the fastest way of getting your idea down. So a lot of musicians just use that function. So we've had some, I won't name names, but we've had some musicians who've been recording their upcoming albums just using the TP7 to record vocal takes because they come up with an idea, they hold the button down and they just go straight to recording it. And it sounds good enough that they can drop it into their mix and not have to worry about it. So the voice memo mode's really powerful in that way. Then once you get Absolutely. into the studio, you can plug into the three jacks at the top, multi-channel everything you want to multi-channel, record it onto the TP7, drag and drop it into Pro Tools, Logic, Ableton, mix it, turn it into a full song, bounce it down to a WAV or FLAC file, and then put it back onto the TP7. And then you make use of those S Sabre DACs that sound really crisp, really loud, uh, to drive any sound system and make it sound fantastic. That's great, man. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for showing us those. Of course. You've also got a little fella behind you, or a bigger fella yeah, behind this the bad three. boy. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the OPXY, which I'm sure many people have seen already. Um, but, of course, it makes it a bit of a system. And, obviously, we've still got the OP1 field. We love the OP1 field. Uh, but for the co color context here, we're showing them all together with the, uh, with the XY. Um, and uh, yeah, you can kind of see in context the colors matching and we've got a lot of work to do in terms of final coloring and you know, you might notice that some of the colors aren't as strong on, on certain units, but the idea is that they will match up and look really stunning together. Um, and we're also working on finding some ways that they can work as a system a little bit nicer. Um, so I'm not sure if those will come directly at launch of the Field Mini Black, but we're looking at how these, the sort of system can talk and uh, yeah. Some fun stuff. I don't want to spoil the surprise, you know. Yeah, it sounds like there's a lot of surprises to look forward to. Always, always surprises. We're very busy in Sweden. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you very much for talking to Sue, then, Will. We really appreciate that. Of course. Thank you so much for coming. Wow.